We're having some fun Here at the fabulous boarding house In San Francisco, in California We've got music, we've got laughter And wonderful time Here at the boarding house It's only four dollars Every five minutes Here at the boarding house in San Francisco It's such a hard chord. I don't know. <laughs> oh, sure, I could make the easy chord. I could do this one. I don't know. This has more meaning to me, I guess. Actually, to make the full chord, you have to play part of it with your nose for the bass. That enables you to make the reach down here with the little finger. But you know, I see people going to college for 14 years, studying to be doctors and lawyers. I see people getting up at 7.30 every morning Going to work at the drugstore to sell flare pins But the most amazing thing to me is I get paid for doing this Okay I don't know what you heard about my show um, You probably heard I was into the comedy thing, but... Uh... Kind of getting out of that now, getting more into the music, and uh, this is what I dig. So uh, I'm kind of getting into American Indian folk music. Um, I'd like to do one of these tunes for you now because uh, now I realize, as a uh, semi-professional comedian, I can't come out here and just uh, sing a straight uh, folk song and have people get into it the way I have. Uh, so what I've done is I've taken, I've jazzed it up a little bit, given it that pop feel, so you might get into the rhythm of it. But uh, basically, I have kept it very traditional, and I'd like to do this for you right now. So this might be your introduction to this form of music that I love so much. So here we go. Little girls. Yeah. By the way, I don't do any dirty material. I don't like to. Uh, if I don't know if that's what you came to hear. I don't know. You're saying, oh, I wonder if he's going to be real dirty. Probably. Are any kids here tonight? <laughs> there's a little kid. No. Still a baby? Right, Mimi. No, I. Um, I don't like to offend people. I'm doing those fag jokes or anything like that because uh, well, I don't like to offend people and. You never know who might be in the audience, so let's just... Well, how many fags do we have? <laughs> just a couple? Okay, these two fruits are walking down the street, and... Um... I've had a good time since I've been here in San Francisco. There's so much... It's an intellectual town. I'm certainly into that, because I... Today, today I went to the Turd Museum, and that was... Fun. I've got some great shit there. And, uh, and, uh, I guess some of that crap's worth a lot of money, too. Well, we're going to be starting. I've been delaying here just a few minutes. I'm waiting for the drugs to take effect. So that a few no, that's a joke. I'm not into drugs. I don't uh, mess around with that stuff. I used to. I'm going to have to be honest with you. I mean, in the old days, you know, everybody would get stoned, you know, and the whole audience would be stoned. And I'd walk out stoned, and I'd come out and go... <laughs> and people would be watching me, you know, and they'd be going... Hey, those guys are pretty good. <laughs> they'd come up to me after the show, and you guys were great, man. <laughs> hey, you want to smoke some shit? Come on, smoke some shit. Go ahead. No, I don't want any marijuana. Marijuana, this is shit. I am smoking my own shit. Okay. 
I was real naive in those days, too, you know. People would come back after the show, and they'd say, Hey, man, you want to snort? And I'd go, sure. <laughs> well, I wouldn't smoke marijuana in California now, man. You can get a ticket for that. <laughs> Well, anyway, let's start. I mean, let's not, let's not waste any more time. Is this on? Can you hear me out there? Is this mic going? Are we having it going on? Okay. depressing song when you're playing the banjo and you just can't go oh death and grief and sorrow and murder when you're playing the banjo everything's okay hey steve your house is burning down i just thought the banjo was the one thing that could have saved nixon you know he went on television right at the right time went hi everything's great I think it'd be great if you had been traveling around the country and got off the plane and said, I'd like to talk about politics, but first a little Foggy Mountain Breakdown. <laughs> then it'd go to foreign countries and it'd get off the plane and people would go, Hey, do Foggy Mountain. <laughs> I don't like to talk about Nixon. That's just... So old, first of all. That's kind of like making Ike jokes. You know? <laughs> but second, second thing is I feel sorry for him. You know, I know I shouldn't because he did wrong and everything. But I just this image of him walking along the beach in San Clemente, you know, all by himself with big old shorts on, you know, <laughs> and a metal detector. You know? <laughs> Okay, let's get moving now, huh? <laughs> yeah, the banjo's so happy. I think, I think people who are out of work, instead of giving them money, we should give them a banjo. And then go home and, did you get a job today, dear? <gasps> nope! Doesn't matter, though! Doesn't it seem like Carter should have a banjo? <laughs> oh, help, 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 help. And what do you think about unemployment? Oh, hell, no, 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 no. All right, folks. Uh, hey, do you have much crime here? Of course you do, right, San Francisco? Must be a lot of muggers and stuff. I worry because I walk home every night, you know, and somebody's going to come and, hey, buddy, <laughs> so I have everything, you know? I have a, it doesn't bother me because I have figured out something. Muggers do not like to rob you if they think you're crazy. Because they're afraid they'll start having to explain, you know, take up too much time and they'll be standing there going, Okay, one more time. Um, take the money out, give it to me, I'll run off, and then you won't have the money, then you yell for help, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> so all I have to do is look crazy, you know? So whenever I have like $10 and I want to walk down the street with it, first, I wet my pants. <laughs> so I get a big stain. You know? Then I take a baby carriage and push it down the street and put garbage in it. You know? <laughs> Now, if you don't want to get that involved, much simpler thing, the moment you are aware you're being robbed, throw up on your money. Okay. Well, pass. We'll get you next time, though, buddy. Thanks for coming by. I got a lot of neat things like that, like solutions to the population problem. That's simple. Death penalty for parking violations. Well, not too many people smoking out here tonight. That's pretty good. <laughs> kind of bothers some people. If you're in a sleazy place like this and people start smoking, you know. It doesn't bother me in a nightclub because I'm used to it. If I'm in a restaurant though, and I'm eating and someone says, Hey, mind if I smoke? I always say, Oh, no, do you mind if I fart? <laughs> it's 
It's one of my habits. <laughs> yeah, they got a special section for me on airplanes now. I quit once for a year, you know. But I gained a lot of weight. And, uh, It's hard to quit. Um, you know, after sex, I really have the urge to light one up, huh? <laughs> See, I'm not a very tactful person. You ever start talking to someone and you forget what you're going to say and you're standing there going, uh... Gee, I was going to say something, I forgot what it was. And they always go, well, it must not have been very important or you wouldn't have forgot it. <laughs> I would say, oh, I remember, I'm radioactive. <laughs> Shake. <laughs> okay, we're moving now, eh, folks? <laughs> yes, this is comedy. All right. <laughs> well, I decided I'm taking up smoking. My uh, doctor told me I wasn't getting enough tar. You know, the fun part of smoking is deciding what brand to smoke. Now, Virginia Slim, that's a woman's cigarette, right? What do they have, like little breasts on them or something? Um, 